Hello everyone and welcome to Wrestling with Evil. My name is Luke. Uh, so, everybody knows that this channel is mainly mainly a, a Resident Evil channel. I've done speed runs of almost every single Resident Evil game, new and old. Um, I've done uh, a lot of things Resident Evil. I love Resident Evil. Um, that's partially one of the reasons why this channel is called Wrestling with Evil to begin with. Um, my two passions in life are pro wrestling and Resident Evil. And also, everybody wrestles with evil. So, uh, um, yeah, so I was, uh, so Resident Evil 8, let's talk Resident Evil 8, uh, or Resident Evil Village, as it's called, um, so basically, um, a trailer dropped in June 2020, um, and it was really cool, it came out of nowhere, really out of nowhere, like really, really out of, out of nowhere, and, um, you know, and then they said, oh, okay, well, we're going to have another announcement, trailer, or whatever thing um, in a couple months uh, in August. August hit, and there was nothing. Um, when I first saw the trailer for Resident Evil 8, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really cool. Um, but I didn't get my hopes up, because Resident Evil 3 Remake was kind of crap. But I have hope. I have hope, and... Uh, let's just see, um, uh, what's gonna happen with this game, um, but they, uh, now it is September, and I was informed on, uh, one of my live chats, um, or w on one of my live streams, rather, uh, by a person who is a Resident Evil fan as well, um, uh, that another trailer has dropped, and it is September, so, not really August, but a month later, that's fine, you know, whatever, um, but uh, today, I'm going to be uh, reacting to this trailer, um, and not only that, but I am going to be, um, you know, uh, fast forwarding through it, um, looking at it at a, in 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 more depth, in more detail, um, you know, frame by frame, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, uh, let's get started. I'm gonna watch it through maybe once or twice, and then I'm gonna talk about it, um, and then uh, you know. And then go through it frame by frame, see if I see any cool things, um, and go from there. Um, thank you all for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, before I start this, um, let me start by saying if you guys are new to the channel and you like Resident Evil or, or, or love Resident Evil, if you're a diehard fan, welcome to the channel. You're, I welcome you with open arms. Um, and, uh, you know, subscribe if you want to. That's cool, too. Um, but, uh... Or, uh, you know, like this video if you want to see more uh, reactions to stuff or, uh, you know, future Resident Evil content. I'm always, I'm always willing to, um, to make videos. Uh, I just don't have a lot of time right now because of COVID and stuff like that. You know, I have to do all the shopping and this and that, work on the weekends, and I live stream five days a week for you guys. So, uh, thank you guys so much. Um, I hope that you guys um, enjoy my content in the future um, and keep enjoying my content in the future. And uh, without further ado, let's go. Let's hit the start button, shall we? All right. So let's see what's going to happen with Resident Evil 8. Is he the new merchant? That's interesting. Okay. All right. I uh, Hopefully, it is good. Um, let's see. Yeah, a bunch of Saw stuff. And wrestling stuff. Hell yeah. Alright, so... That was interesting. Let's watch that again, because there are parts that I missed. Merchant. I like him. I like him, I like him. A window shop away, sir. Okay, alright, I'll fucking window shop. I don't mind that shit. Alright. <clears throat> so, we're gonna break this down a little bit. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah, so we're going to break this down a little bit. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. So I'm going to go second by second. Yeah, RE engine, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to pause at the interesting parts. Okay. Ethan's in bed. Somebody's calling him up on his cell phone. All clear. Come on, move! Okay, so I'm guessing they're in Ethan's house. Uh, I mean, that would that would be uh, at blatantly obvious. Um, but Chris, though, he looks sinister as fuck. What's going on with him? Chris, what the? 
Chris, what the hell? Yeah, he's like, kill motherfuckers and shit. Help! Take him away. Oh, damn. That reminds me of, uh, welcome to the family, son. Right in the face. Damn. Okay. Um... I'll give my I'll give my uh, opinion about this after I do this. Hmm. Capcom. All right, let's look at that scenery for a little bit because I'm liking this. It this 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 uh man this this castle looks crazy. Like it's giant. It's huge, and it's in like the mountains and shit. I mean, it definitely remind it, it gives me like a classic horror movie vibe, like um, Phantom of the Opera, the original, or um, even the remake, uh, or um, like it reminds me of like Frankenstein's Castle a little bit too. That's freaky and awesome. I fucking love that. All right. She has a bunch of okay. So this is the old lady, right? She has a bunch of skulls on her body. So you could tell right away that she's, like, done some fucked up shit in her, you know, in her days. That's probably why she has so many wrinkles. Um, damn. That skull is super detailed, too. I really, I really just like the whole vibe of this. I'm really feeling it, you guys. I'm really, really feeling it. In life. Okay. Um... So this is, a, I'm guessing this is a part of the village. Um, like, it just looks so detailed. I, I really, really can't wait to get my hands on this game. But then again, I'm, I'm not going to be too excited about it. I'm not going to be too hyped about it. I am going to talk about it. Um, but I'm not going to be too, um, you know, forgiving after what happened with Resident Evil 3 Remake. Because that was a fucking nightmare. No clock tower. Fucking really, dude? Come on. Fuck out of here. And in death, we give glory. Oh, shit. Okay, let's go back to that part. We give glory. Okay, so that I'm guessing that's her. Um, she's a short little thing. Jeez. She's got to be like four something. <laughs> like four six. Damn, she's a short old lady, but she has the skulls to compensate for it, right? Damn, she must have done some fucked up shit. All right. The bell tolls for us all. The bell tolls for us all. Oh. The bell tolls for us all. Is that like Is that like a cult bell? Almost like um Almost like in Resident Evil 4 when they rung, when they, when they rang the bell and shit like that, all the villagers went to the church and whatever. Is it kind of like that? Because if it is, that definitely fucking makes sense. I feel like all these villagers are in, like, a giant cult. And that's going to be a lot of fun. Especially after what happened with Resident Evil 7, which, you know, it was just molded, molded, molded. Oh, Jack, Jack, Jack Baker? Oh, he's amazing. Oh, Marguerite Baker? Oh, molded? More molded? Cool. Oh, what about Lucas Baker? He's pretty cool. He's a mastermind. Oh, more molded. Huh. Cool. Yeah, I hope that I hope that uh, Resident Evil 8 definitely improves upon, um, you know, the new formula from Resident Evil 7. Adds a lot more enemies, you know, makes it a lot more fun um, and a lot more diverse. You know, put some RNG in there, man. Put some fucking RNG in there. That'd, that'd be fun. Um, I don't know how it's going to work with first person, though. Uh, honestly, I feel like this game would be great over the shoulder. Like, just to look at all the environments and look at yourself and be able to, I don't know. Like, I think this game should have, like, a third-person mode in it. But They're I digress. They're coming again! <laughs> oh, so creepy, man. So creepy. This lady uh, has a face that not even a mother could love. Um, Yeah, really spooky. But I fucking love it. It has those vibes. Those vibes hit my heart. With such terror, and I fucking love it. Uh, she's got the, you know, she she looks like um, an old fashioned like cultist, uh, cultist slash, you know, like a Native American Indian. Um, wow, 
it, she just looks like stunning, but in a horrible way, you know, like a horrifyingly stunning way. Like, uh, wow, this is, I, I think this is going to turn out to be an all right game. Um, I might even really like play the fuck out of this game. Who knows? But like I said, not going to get my hopes up. <laughs> oh, look at the detail on those hands. You could see the fucking pores. Oh my God, dude. That is awesome. Look at those hands. So, like, that that's really, really fucking cool, you guys. And it has the ring on his finger saying that he's married. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Um, It's definitely Ethan. It has to be, because I don't think Chris is even married. Wow. This is, this is going to be cool. Oh, okay. Let's, let's fast forward back to that part. Okay, this, oh, there's, okay, so there's a, there's, um, a, a deer head over here, and then there's a lamp over here, and then this reminds me of where Mia comes up and was just like, and goes all fucking psychotic woman on, uh, on Chris. I've seen that shit before. You just gotta, gotta stay away from those crazy women, guys. Gotta stay away from the crazy ones, because they will grab a knife, and they will fucking kill you. Stay away. Put a big X sign over that. No, 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 no bueno. I, I, I don't, I don't need that in my life. Oh, look at that. Okay, so there's a bunch of powder on the floor. Either that, or it's like paint, or um, it's made of like salt or something like that, which you know usually is like a ritualist uh, thing to do. But it's the same little thing that was on the gate. I wonder. I wonder what's gonna happen. And everything looks all fucked up. The pillow has, you know, holes in it. That is so cool. There's paperwork spread all over the place. It looks like a regular... F it looks like a floor that could be in an old cabin, like in a, in a house. This looks like a picture of a house right now. Wow, so detailed. I love it. Okay. Um, <laughs> half whole flower. What does that even mean? Half whole flower. What? That doesn't make any... Whoa, wait, wait, hold on. First of all, why is it half and whole? It can't be It can't be whole if it's half. And it can't be half if it's whole. So what the fuck... What even is this flower? Is it, is it actually flower? Ah, oh, I'm going on a tangent here. But that's, that is literally the most oxymoronish thing I've ever heard in my life. Half whole flower. Yeah, great uh, marketing campaign there. Uh, I can't even read the fucking brand name. Great marketing campaign. Doing a good job there. All right. So, yeah, but this is uh, it's a little too dark to even see. Oh, that was fast. Okay, that came up pretty fast. So let's rewind that. Okay, so bunch of trash bags, you know, uh, one of these things, I forget what they're called, um, uh, pallets, one of these, uh, pallets over here, we got a chair over there, and then we got this shit, I don't even know what this is, it just looks like a bunch of, you know, ceiling or ornaments, maybe like, I don't know, bottle caps or some shit, I don't know, I couldn't tell you, but whatever is running through this area is running pretty fucking fast, that's for sure, but look at the detail, guys, like, this is... Like, the wood texture up here, and the banister, and everything. Dude, it just, it looks so good. But, I mean, Resident Evil 3 Remake looked very, very good, but then you had an unfinished game. So, hopefully, they, uh, they've they been working on this game for a very long time. I, I really want to see them do good with this game. I really do. Because, uh, like I said, Resident Evil 3 Remake, very disappointing. Um, and also, I'm going to be releasing another video uh, this week. Um, I'm going to redo, or, or redux, rather, um, my uh, Resident Evil game tier list. And I'm going to be adding Resistance and Resident Evil 3 to the mix. So you guys will see exactly where I put it um, when it comes to tier formation. I don't know. It might be low, might be high. Who knows? Oh, look at that creepy bastard. Hey, ladies, uh, would you guys like to date somebody that looked like that? Because, uh, yeah, he looks, he looks like, uh, 
He looks like somebody that I don't even want to fucking look at. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, ladies, put it down in the comments. Would you date this thing? I don't think so. I think I already know the answer to that. It's more or less a rhetorical question. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Just, like, bulldozing through everything. Um, let's see if I can get a clear picture. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so basically... Man. He looks scary as fuck. That werewolf looks fucking, like, creepy. Really creepy. Damn. Yeah. Quit being so paranoid. Yeah, quit being so paranoid. Okay, I will. Not really. Never. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries. See, this, this is really cool. This is beautiful, honestly. Like, just like the surroundings, it reminds me of, um, it reminds me of, like I said, James and the Giant Peach and, like, a lot of really good Disney movies that I've seen in my lifetime. It just looks phenomenally beautiful and gorgeous, and I'm glad that they put this um, in the trailer. I don't think it's going to be in the game or not. It doesn't make a lot of sense for it to be, but if it was, I wouldn't mind, um, just because it looks so nice. All right, let's continue. If they made a game that looked like this, if Capcom did, dude, I'd give you that money, especially if it was a zombie game. Oh, count me, count me the fuck in, man. Count me in. Race for her father. Who was hard at work? I'd make it but rain the on Capcom, bitch ass. I'd make Capcom, you know, I'd make Capcom earn it though. That's for sure. They have to earn that money. The dark, cold silence. But look at that snow texture. Like that's, I mean, I haven't seen good snow texture like that since until dawn. And I mean, that snow texture was all right, but this just out trumps that by a thousand. Like it's so good. Just like the, everything looks like nature, like it's supposed to, which is, you know, really good. All right. The bush is empty, yet determined to- Look at that. What a beautiful sight. The kid looks adorable. She looks like, you know, just a typical mother. It kind of, oh man, it kind of reminds me of like, um, oh, A Nightmare Before Christmas. Definitely. It has that, that- Tim Burton vibe to it. It's really, 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 really cool. I hope that this is in the game. I really do. To find the berries, the rascal broke free of. Okay, so that vine is literally, uh, literally taking this girl to the unknown. Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Uh oh. Mother's worried cries faded. Okay, yeah, this is this is a this is a, a really cool a really cool scenery right here. Uh, the rocks have snow on them. You know, they, they must be up in the mountains. Um, I heard that it's set in, like, Romania or, <clears throat> I don't know, somewhere close to that area. Maybe Russia, something like that. Damn, looks really, really nice. Like, it's really nice to look at. Fast as the girl ran on, over Vine. Man, the detail in those hands. Again, like, dude, it looks like my hand. It looks like I'm looking at my hand. That is awesome. Under branch. And into the... Look at her. She's just frolicking on that branch. Doesn't even know what she's doing. What she's getting herself into. Forest deep. Okay. This looks... This is amazing. Um, I, I, I like I like this, uh, this steeple. I'm guessing this is a church of some sort. Um... And then they got this, and then a cemetery right there, which is like, I miss a c good cemetery. Honestly, I haven't seen a good cemetery in a video game since Resident Evil 3. So, bring it on, bring it on. I mean, Resident Evil 4 Cemetery was pretty cool, too. The fact that they had a puzzle in it was pretty cool. Um, but, yo, this, this looks fucking awesome. Um, lady with a spear, um, or a sword. And, uh, she's definitely not dressed for combat, that's for sure. She's not wearing any armor or anything. I am scared for this this uh, statue woman right here. 
Um, but yeah, no, the, the fence right here around what looks like a church or like a, a place of worship or probably like a cultist, you know, worship place. You know, all the trees look awesome. I mean, I definitely don't have any complaints with this trailer so far. That's for sure. Okay, so this is the thing that uh, everybody was, um, you know, talking about or whatever. What is this thing? I don't think a whole lot of people know. I think it's just maybe like an embryo of uh, some sort of, you know, like G-virus or T-virus or whatever mold, you know, grew in Resident Evil 7. Like, I think this is this might be just like a culmination of just like a bunch of things mixed together. Um, and they worship it because it's like new life or something like that or whatever, just like uh, evolution or something. I don't know. Evolution is a mystery. All right. Um, enough, enough singing. Enough fucking around. Uh, yeah, but this this is literally the symbol of the game, which is very cool. I really like it. Um, ho hopefully this is the cover of the game. That would be awesome. Okay. Okay, so they have... Let's see, they have um, wind chimes on these cemetery spikes, which uh, actually it kind of looks a lot like um, the uh, insignia from Resident Evil 4, which is very, very cool. I like that throwback. Um, and then they have a pile of hay or whatever it is right here that's like frozen solid. And there's a pitchfork in it, which is, again, reminiscent of Resident Evil 4. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then they got a barn in the back. You know, that's that's really, really cool. I, I feel like I'm saying cool a lot, but this is very cool. Oh, there's somebody right there. Who is that? Is that just like a farmer or a worker or somebody? Because I, I, I didn't see this before. Huh. That's interesting. So there's a person there. Who is that person? I wonder. Oh, wait, no, there wasn't a person there. Was my mind just playing tricks on me just now? Hold on. I could have sworn there was a person there. I guess not. It looked like a person, though, guys. It really did. Um, all right, so this lady, she's like, oh, come with us. Come with us. This guy's all fucked up over here. He got a bandage on his head and shit. You know, probably broke his leg or some shit. And then this guy, he's got boogers coming out of his eyeballs. He looks all fucked up. He looks like an old clergyman. Um, and then this, this girl, she looks like she's from, you know, the 19, uh, 19, early 1900s with that dress and, you know, attire. And then you got old fashioned stuff in the background. And then this fucking dude, he's got a, probably a bottle of Jack Daniels. He's probably getting lit over there. Look at this guy. He's like, dude, I don't give a fuck, man. I'm going to drown my sorrows in this nice bottle of fucking Jägermeister. <laughs> Oh, man, this is cool. Um, they got some plates above the, the fireplace, which is what they used to do um, back in the day. They used to heat their plates up on their wood-burning stove, um, which is pretty, which is uh, pretty, I mean, pretty accurate. That's why they ha would have the, uh, the bowls on top of the stove. All right, so let's continue. No, don't, don't, don't give her your hand. Oh, okay, so there's more creepy dolls in the background, I see. They haven't strayed away from their roots completely. Um, and then this thing, which is what we saw that was on the gate. So that's, it's definitely like a cult for sure with like weird fucking writing on it and, and shit. That's probably, this thing is probably summoning those, those, um, those werewolves or, or whatever. Like something has to be summoning, you know, them from like a different, you know, plane of existence or something, because that's, that's fucking, that's creepy. All right, but yeah, burnt doll in the background. Always need one of them. Okay, some more wolf fucking people. This, this wolf has an axe. This wolf has a fucking knife of some sort. Okay, hold on, let's rewind a little bit. Okay, so they're doing some sort of chant. Um, okay, maybe maybe that insignia is to like keep the demons away. Um, you know, to help save them. Um, 
like, uh, and like I said before, um, this old, old attire is like early 1900s, late 1800s. Like, you know, girls don't wear this shit now. Um, and then this guy, he's a fucking, you know, a patch over his, over his face and shit. This guy, yeah, this guy's all fucked up. I think that's the guy that had the, that, that wasn't boogers coming out of his eyeballs, guys. That was blood. He's bloody. And then this guy, mouth wide open, just chanting, chanting shit. Okay, and then you got this irate bastard over here. He looks like fucking King Kong, and he has Thor's goddamn hammer over there, and just ready to fuck motherfuckers up. You got this fucking guy on the roof. You got this guy with whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. And then this fucking guy over there. Dude, these werewolves are going to be packed to the brim with fucking weapons. That's going to be crazy. Ten times better than the molded already. Okay, so some freaky geeky lighting shit is going on. It's just a local tale. Stirring your stew. And then this baby over here. Look at that. That castle, though. Holy castle. This is, uh... This is breathtaking. I really, really like the the look of this castle. It reminds me a lot of Evil Within. I've been playing that on stream for you guys. Um, man, this is this is cool looking. Um, but it looks like even better than Evil Within, and I'm actually shocked to even say that because Evil Within so far is really fucking good, you guys. I'm actually really enjoying it. But holy shit, this looks so detailed. I mean, I wish I could just zoom in on everything and make it. So they don't have a release date for us yet. That kind of sucks. And then you got this dude smoking on a stogie. And, uh, you know, big dude, obviously. He's got the, you know, the, the, pinch, the pinchy cheeks. He's a big dude. Window shop if you like. He's got that double chin going on. You know. You know, he rocks it, though. He rocks it, though. But uh, th those cigars, they're going to fuck you up, man. In 10 years, you won't even be able to sell shit. You'll be dropped out of a heart attack. If it's just looking, window shop away. If it's just lowly willing, uh, whatever he said. If it's just, uh, loaning? L lowly? If it's just lowly, will you, uh, window shop away. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely a new merchant, which is really cool. I can't wait to chill, chill out with this guy and listen to what he's got to say. Coming 2021. When in 2021? Nobody knows. But uh, it's official, 2021, so that's cool. Um, all right. Interesting. Okay, so it's coming for... Oh, okay. <clears throat> PS5, Xbox Series X, um, Steam. Um, and that's it. So it's not coming for PS4, you guys. So, uh... You guys are going to have to get a PS5 in order to actually play this fucking game. Which, uh, I don't think I'm going to do a giveaway of this game this time. Because, um, you know, it's going to be really expensive. And I don't think a lot of people are going to have or be able to pre-order the PS5 yet. So, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, there we go, guys. Um, what do you, you guys think of the trailer? Do you guys like it? Um, uh, I'll give you guys my thoughts about it. I, th I, f I think it looks beautiful. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's doing a different style of, um, of game. Um, I mean, who knows? This could be a Resident Evil, uh, uh, this honestly could be a Resident Evil 4 remake. Who knows? I mean, it's not even clear what Res. I mean, I, yeah, it does have the Roman numeral 8 in it, which makes sense. But, like, yo, like, this uh, I'm saying like this could be a Resident Evil 4 remake because like it's pretty it's the same style just in a more uh, cold environment as opposed to Resident Evil 4 being in like a, a hot environment. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like the movie The Shining, which is my favorite movie, um, uh, my favorite horror movie rather because um, it's in like a more hot atmosphere like it feels tense and sticky. But in the sequel, um, Dr. Sleep which is a very phenomenal movie, and actually a lot of this shit in this movie reminds me, or uh, a lot of the shit in this trailer reminds me of Doctor Sleep. So uh, you guys should check out Doctor Sleep if you haven't. It's a, gr it's a phenomenal movie, but 
it's more of like a cold atmosphere more like you know lonely desolate you know you feel helpless I, I like i like cold atmospheres in video games and this definitely nails it so far from what i see um i really really like it uh i well, well i like the trailer haven't played the game yet but uh yeah when it comes out i'm getting it and i'm gonna play play it for you guys on stream definitely but um if you guys have any thoughts opinions um comments uh if you guys find my voice annoying leave it down in the comments um i'm gonna be premiering pre uh pre premiering this video right after i record it so uh Hopefully you guys enjoy and watch it, um, and uh, definitely cl uh, please click that like button. Make sure you know, uh, and the notify bell. Make sure you get all that content when it's coming out, like uh, like this or you know any live streams I do. I live stream five days a week, um, and uh, I'm so glad that I was able to make time to uh, make this video because uh, this is really cool. This is dope, and I feel like it's gonna be really good. So uh, without further ado, thank you guys so much. Um, uh, I love you all, um, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next live stream. Uh, it's going to be um, TBOI Tuesday once again, The Binding of Isaac, um, and uh, we're going to go hard. We're going to fuck it up. So uh, like I said, thank you guys. Love you guys. Mwah. Peace out, guys. Peace. That's all the time I got for you guys today.